Breaking news. A retired MI5 agent. Deathbed confession about Princess Diana. An 80-year-old retired MI5 agent, John Hopkins, has made a series of astonishing confessions since he was released from hospital in London on Wednesday and told he has weeks to live. Hopkins claims to have been involved in 23 assassinations for the British intelligence agency between 1973 and 1999, and one of these included Princess Diana. He says, I killed Princess Diana. That was his confession. Hopkins, who worked for MI5 for 38 years as an operative, claims he was often used as a hitman by the agency to discreetly assassinate individuals considered a threat to the domestic security of the United Kingdom. Trained as both a mechanical engineer and munitions expert, Hopkins claims he also has extensive experience of less conventional methods of inflicting death and destruction, including chemicals and poisons. The 80-year-old British man claims he was involved with MI5 assassinations between June of 73 and December of 1999. During a period, he says, quote, the MI5 operated with less external oversight, end quote. End quote. Hopkins says he was part of a cell of seven operatives who were trusted to carry out political assassinations across the UK. He says most victims were politicians, activists, journalists, and even union leaders. Hopkins says Princess Diana is unique among his victims as she is the only female he ever assassinated as well as the only royal. She was a member of the royal family. She was, of course, Princess Charles' wife. She is also the only victim that the royal family themselves ordered to be taken out, he says. There's a link here in the article titled Banned Worldwide, Princess Diana Documentary Unlawful Killing Must See. Hopkins claims he feels to feel ambivalent about Princess Diana's death. On the one hand, Diana was a beautiful, kind-hearted woman who did not deserve to have her life cut short. But according to Hopkins, she was also placing the British crown at risk. Quote, the royal family had evidence that she was planning div to divorce Charles. She knew too many royal secrets. She had a huge grudge and she was going to go public with all sorts of wild claims. My boss told me she had to die. He'd received orders directly from Prince Philip. Prince Philip, of course, is the consort of Queen Elizabeth. The second, the Queen of England. He received the orders directly from Prince Philip, and we had to take it to make it look like an accident. I'd never killed a woman before, much less a princess, but I obeyed orders. I did it for the Queen and country. End quote. The next stage of the high level conspiracy involved the media, under tight palace control, talking to each other to, quote, square their stories. Make sure everyone was on the same page. It was a well-run operation. End quote. And he goes on saying, British journalists all answer to editors who answer to oligarchs who all want knighthoods from the crime family at Buckingham Palace. There is no free press in Britain. End quote. This is what Hopkins stated. And he says, we got away with murder. The 80-year-old spent his final weeks at home said he expects to be taken into custody following his admissions, but says, quote, I can't stay, I can't say that I care an awful lot, and quote. Hopkins explained that any investigation into the affair would take forever and be very complicated because there are few written records around secret MI5 activities, and quote, most of my colleagues are already dead, and quote. The most important witness in the case, Mr. Hopkins' boss, died of a heart attack in the early 2000s, and the alleged ringleader, Prince Philip, quote, will never be charged with anything, of course, end quote. Another link here, Queen Elizabeth ordered Princess Diana murder, says Diana's best friend. Going on with the article, quote, if Prince Philip ever let himself be analyzed by a psychiatrist, I'm sure he'd be diagnosed as a psychopath. He has all the dark triad traits, end quote. 
As to why he didn't refuse the job or expose the plot at the time, he explained, quote, MI5 agents swear allegiance to the crown. We cannot be impartial when it comes to the royal family. At best, I would have been done for treason. At worst, Philip would have designed a grisly fate for me, end quote. This is by Baxter Dimitri on your newswire.